Alright, hey guys, this is Jason from Microsounding Supply. Um, today I'm going to do a little video on this product that we just got pretty recently. Um, this is Fast Chip, as you can see. This is uh, a low melt alloy, very similar to the Chip Quick low melt. It's uh, the same combination of bismuth and tin. Um, this has an extremely low melting point of about 79 degrees Celsius, which is lower than boiling uh, for water. And so what this is great for is removing uh, very large, um, sort of like, packages or things that with a high thermal mass uh, that require a lot of heat so when you mix this into the joints uh, it'll lower the melting point and you can remove it um, without burning connectors or uh, damaging other components nearby or even if you want to harvest a connect connector which is what I'm going to do here to show you this is excellent for that so I switch over to the microscope um, so what we have here is I'm going to be doing a data recovery job so on a, on a USB hard drive an external hard drive and for that I don't want to use USB. USB is a terrible interface for data recovery. So I'm going to take here this old dead hard drive with the SATA connector and I'm going to go ahead and wire up that SATA connector to the USB hard drive. So first things first, I need to remove this connector. But this connector is pretty big. This is a two and a half inch drive obviously. And I could hot air it, but you know, with the, like, the area that's required, I'm definitely going to end up burning the connector and that's not going to be helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this using this fast ship alloy, removal alloy. So the first thing you want to do is just put some flux down everywhere on all the joints. Just like that. And now, I'm going to turn on my iron. Wait for it to heat up. So I'm set at about uh, 750 degrees on my iron, melting some solder. Got my tip tin, so nice, nice and shiny now, like that. And so now what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and just start mixing this uh, low melt alloy in. So let's start over here on the left side. You can see that this stuff is very, 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 very low temperature. Just like that. Just move over to this connector here. And this is basically, this is all still very much, if I move over here, this is still liquid. That's how low temperature this is. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing it in on this side now. And now when it stops sticking, all I got to do is just put some more flux down. And just feed it in. And so now, last but not least, got to do these joints. Just like that. It's not showing over here. And so now that this is all mixed in, you can see I've got low melt solder everywhere I want it to be. I'm just going to go ahead and just run my iron through all of this and get it all melted. And so once I get it all flowing at the same time, I can begin just like this. Just begin to just, just like that. I've now got two things, a beautiful SATA connector and an old dead PCB. And so now, that's how you use fast chip removal alloy, this product here, in order to remove and harvest connectors without hot air and without burning the connectors. So this is available on microsolderingsupply.com. Um, you can buy them in packs of four and a half feet. And uh, we're currently having a promotion going on, so if you want to get 10% off, just use code FASTSHIP. Thanks.